Are you ready for this? Putting on the helmet, strapping on the harness. 211 mile an hour. Arkansas girl that just mashes the gas and super fast. Alex Taylor. What's up? Oh, hey, what's up? I really expected a warmer welcome. What? We're supposed to play it cool the whole time. Okay. I've done extensive research on Alex Taylor before she came here to Hot Rod Garage. Um, she can MIG weld. TIG? I'm sorry, my bad. I know that uh, she's got like a, a Camaro or something. 55 and Camaro? Nice. And she can uh, like fix engines and stuff. Transmissions too? Yeah, yeah. On Hoopty World Championship, there was lots of transmission. I'm really impressed with Alex rebuilding that transmission. Oh, absolutely. I, I would screw that up 100% guaranteed. Okay. Uh, I know that she's won a couple races, I think. A couple. Yeah, it almost sounds like you care. Oh, yeah, no, I've done the research. Okay. I've done the research. <laughs> All right, tell us a little bit more about you. So, a little background, grew up in the shop from literally a couple weeks old in a bouncy chair with my, my dad running alongside them. I'm just gonna say, that's good parenting right there. Go yes. ahead. Grew up with cars, grew up working on them, grew up touching and helping in any way that I could. Um, that I just wanted to be hands-on and learn. We built my first car, which is actually named Bad Marrow. Started racing Drag Week when I was 16. Just recently, we built a 55 Chevy, broke 200, and then last week hit 211 in the eighth mile. I crack wise and fix cars. Thank you for being here to save me. I feel welcome, though, so thank you. Um, checklist. Did you get the socket out of that? I actually did. Wow, nice. All right, yeah. that's the whole list. Yeah. But seriously, I think we were supposed to do a couple of other things. We got yeah. seatbelts in. Well, you know what? You know, interestingly enough, I can't. Yeah, that's the other thing. You I can't. can't. We need a switch panel up here. Or a dashboard. That's for another thing. Yeah. Like well, you get our... in trouble. You kick this button and it shuts off. <laughs> Perfect. All right. So we're like a semi safety episode this time. Sure. Faux safe. Faux safe. Faux so safe. can we faux show be done and go to the track? Ratio. It is pretty close. Look at her. Outside the track, apex in the turn. Yep. Whoa, brakes, brakes, brakes. I think it's a delay. She made it. But there was no, <laughs> there was no, there was no delay in that skid sound. Yeah, she is ruthless. Definitely being more careful at the moment. Yeah. I wish we could see what was going on back there right now. Still going! Oh, yeah. She's getting after it, too. Be, be ready to run. I know, I know. <laughs> Woo! She's getting after it. So 146. Not bad. And that was from the standstill. Yeah. Man, we should send her around again. Yeah, we should. She's getting a hang. I think we're corrupting a drag racer yeah. right here. <laughs> I hear it. I'll give her the go-go. Yeah, give her the go-go-go. Flag her on. <laughs> I thought that yeah. was going to be a hook. I really yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. But she caught it. Her first lap was 146. Her sec second lap was 140. Excellent. Yeah. It's a difference. Oh, she's revving it. Is that her? Yeah, I hear it. 6,000, buddy. I hope you got those rockers tight. Tell you in a minute. Wow, look at her. Look at her, yeah. yeah. This is working well, yeah. I'm ready to run. Yeah. Oh, my God.
time. L Lucky's never going to beat that. 146 was the first one, and 140 flat was the second one. Heck yeah. Did you happen to time uh, that last I one? I think you had a 39 that on was the last, last one. one. Uh, 139, 139. 46, 40, 39. Yeah. Heck yeah. 39. Nice, coaches. Yeah. Nice. Okay. <laughs> They're like mad driving, and it's not. I actually talked to Rome about earlier. He's like, have you ever watched ballet? I love the idea of learning anything new, and this is something that's like actually really exciting. The idea of this is to really master the art of drifting the car in one direction. The key in this is getting the car to step out on a certain line, and you counter steer to hold that line along with keeping the throttle really smooth, and that'll allow you to float around in a perfect donut. On this technique, it's pretty simple. The idea is to learn how to balance or kind of dance with the balance point of the car. This is the fundamentals. This is the main part that has to happen. Oh, too much. So why did you spin? Why did you over-rotate? I gave it too much throttle. That's it, OK. See, you got this. So too much throttle is going to make the car over-rotate. Not enough throttle is going to make the car straighten back out. You actually want the, to slide the wheel in your hand and allow the car to self-steer for you. There we go. Oh, too much. Like, let the wheel slide in your hands, and you'll start to notice that you're driving with the rear of the car, not so much of the front of okay. the car. So it's totally a balance of momentum and wheel speed. There we go. Much better. She's good now. Once she gets it locked in, she can just keep going, which is what it was. So how'd that feel? That was much better. You're doing quite well. All right, I'm going to go try this again. Yeah, you'll get it. Ballet. It's a ballet. Yes, ballet. She got it. Way more in control. Like a million times better. OK, that felt too smooth to be right. But that's how you know it's right, is when it's smooth. OK. You can fly it in, pull the e-brake, slide park the car into a box, point it in the direction you want to go. And the goal of this is really to learn how to position the car, pitch the car sideways, and get ready for the next step. So how hard you pull the handbrake and how much you drag on the handbrake will position the car into the box. Her drag racer instincts are very good. She's Light it up, go down, and then she's like, wait a second, the stopping thing is something new for me. You almost 360'd. Almost. <laughs> she keeps killing our outer cone. She's focusing on the cone, kind of like a skier trying not to hit a tree. She's staring at the tree. So the key is really trying to realize how far the car is going to slide and how to control that slide as much as you possibly can. Woo, that's pretty good. So she stopped. She got it. She got it pitched sideways and she got it slowed down. So she's pretty much right there. There we go. That's pretty damn good. Lesson five, drifting out of the box. You use lesson one, two, three, and four. You come in hot, grab e-brake, go to slow down the vehicle in the box. But instead of stopping, you let go of the e-brake, you let the clutch out, get back on throttle, and start to do donuts around the inner clip of the box. Just a little too much throttle there. I think I know what I did there. Yep, we're watching, we got you. close. That was a good feel. That was good. That was good. There we go. Keep the momentum. She's having way more fun now. Starting to relax. She's starting to smile. Woo! Pissed out the window, letting you know that she got it. That was perfect. I mean, that was textbook. That was absolutely perfect.
I do see Alex. She should be pulling up. This is her first test hit. Alex Taylor is apparently getting ready in the 55 Plymouth, which is one of the grudge match Hellcat powered cars. Shifting. Yeah. Real drag racing is done with a clutch pedal. I mean, it's a challenge. If you can drive a stick down a track, you're a rock star. I missed second. I still got to figure this out. I am more calm and collected now, so we're going to go back out and make another pass. I've got a better strategy now, and I'm feeling more ready to go. So time for pass. So Alex is pulling it right now in the Savoy. She has an excellent team behind her who are very aware of what adjustments to make. I'm uh, super excited to see this. Messing around. Alex Taylor queued up, make a run in that 55. It looked like maybe just at the top of second gear, started to get a little out of the groove. So I bet you they're gonna do some suspension adjustments and get back on the track. You see her driving that thing, third gear down there is all over the track. She wasn't about to lift. She said, screw that, I'm going for it. She just needs a little more practice with that stick shift, and she's going to be bad. I'm sure they did some adjustments, and it should get crazy. This is going to be good. Another checkout pass for Alex Taylor. Alex gets second gear pretty clean. Wow. She got dialed in. She pulled hard. First second, I heard third gear nice and clean. Good times. It was a little straighter, didn't bounce around quite as much. So I think we're on to something. I think she felt happy about that one. So we had the one, two, three, all the shifts were good. Car felt clean, car felt happy. So we are in cool down mode. Going into the Hellcat Rug match is going to be really interesting because whoever the winner is of that is going to have a lot of heat in their clutch going into that final round. So I feel back in my element and I'm ready to go into the grudge match now. I can breathe. This is it. Final round, folks. Final round of our Influencers Grudge Match. Alex Taylor in the left lane, 55 Plymouth Savoy. Weston Champlin in the right lane. He's in a Hellcat Challenger. This is going to be a nail biter. race champion. That's awesome. That felt good. And that is exactly how that's done. She dropped the gear, first second, super tight, everything was good, and she's down the track. Don't go there. A rev off? Wicka, 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 rev off? Wiggity, wiggity, wiggity. The next time you see us, you're going to see us at the track. Check the tire 
air pressure in the car. I got everything set up. Checked it for leaks. Checked all the fluid. Car feels good. Seat belts are adjusted correctly. Technically, it's still breaking in the clutch, so I can't beat on it too bad. Is your car leaking something? I got a little leak. <laughs> Not quite as big as you're just like you're just like the uh, the reputation that precedes this car. Man, I was having fun, being mild on the clutch, all good, and then all of a sudden Alex just blows by me. So I'm thinking, wow, this girl. And then I see the back of her car get a little light. She's, I'm like, all right, she's on it. So then I'm going, let me just catch up with her. So that took a minute, like it never happened. She's the girl to beat. She's going to try and beat my time, which right now I am the fastest guy on the track. And... Oh, yeah, this car feels better. Six solid. Ready for lap one? <laughs> Go ahead. Lap one, which wasn't super aggressive. Yeah, it was the first one. One out. minute, 41, and a seven. Okay. Best lap. Now, mind you, I'm the fastest yeah, guy on okay. the track. It's me right now. Yeah. Well, it was me until you went out on the track. One minute, 36.9. Nice. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's, do you beat yourself? I beat myself. And do you beat me? It's okay, you can be the fastest man. I'll be the fastest I'm the fastest woman. man on the track today. Uh, with that said, I can say this car, like us, is very hot right now. Thanks. Um, I've been working out. Yeah. Because when I pulled in and said it's 250, mm -hmm. it's as high as the gauge goes. Have you checked out the Savoy? Oh, yeah. I saw it at the uh, Roadkill Nights event. Would you out watch it at the track? Uh, I was at the starting line. Really? Yes. I was up in the tower. I got to see her drive the car. Yeah. And I have to give her credit for driving the car. It wasn't a prep racetrack. It was a, a street. It was a street race, yeah. 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 And uh, You know, she's only ever been the third gear. Well, that's three out of six. It's halfway yeah, exactly. there. Exactly. That's halfway there. Right? Not a lot of smoke. No. She One loves the rolling burnouts. Off. You think? Yeah. Uh, she wants to take another crack at it, I think. She blew the tires off. I don't know if they had enough heat in them from the burnout. Yeah, she didn't really do much burnout there. No. We'll see what she decides to do. Yeah, it spun the tires hard. It didn't hook up twice. Yeah, doing that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there's a bit of bounce going on there, wheel hop. She wants to drive that car. She still hasn't, she she still hasn't made it to fourth gear. OK, going to let Savoy cool. Need to make some chassis adjustments. Super good track. Savoy's not been on a good track before. <laughs> it's only been on a semi-decently prepped track. This is prepped. Bone marrow could be hurt. We'll see. We're going to make one more pass in it at least. I know Lucky's going to drive Caprice. Maybe our friends will make some more passes. And then hopefully <laughs> Savoy. Makes good pass. 
Last time we had bone marrow out at Irwindale, there was quite a bit of lobi, which we haven't checked on that since. It doesn't sound the happiest. It did not log that time. I don't know why. So I've made a little bit of fuel correction. It seems with the air, it's wanting more fuel. So I'm going to go back out and going to pull up, make another pass. That's a way to burn it out. We suspect there is some minor issues with the bone marrow. It has an excessive blow by. Seems like it's down a little bit on power. There are some very simple procedures for testing these things with some very simple tools that we probably have at the track, but we're not going to look for them. I mean, honestly, when in doubt, throttle it out. is where it went away! Ooh, yeah! Okay, so that maneuver is called the Hundini. Because <laughs> first you see her, and then you don't. And then you don't. <laughs> it was a great launch, though. I'm not going to say that this is the first time I've seen that particular car drive off into a cloud of smoke. I think she wanted the left lane. I think she wanted the left lane, Left too. lane. But that always freaks me out. You know what I mean? Paddle back in. Yeah, yeah. Whew. A little sketchy. Something broke. OK, so where were you going? Something broke in this thing. I don't know. Something's, I, don't, I can't swear to it. That thing snapped and went left. I was like, whoa! Hold on. Get That's back. funny, because we all said the exact same thing down here. I was like, there's a cone, as long as there's one cone. And then it just, it acted right after that. I think something may have broke. Nice. I don't right. know that for a fact, but it was clunky on the way back. Yeah. Let me just give you this real quick. Oh. That was really good. <laughs> Sorry to scare you. No, no, no. I'm... Happy HRG Day, everybody. Yeah. <laughs>